When I look at Buddy from Detroit, I see an entrepreneur, I see a hustler, I see a smart businessman, a lucky man, but he just didn't have no exit plan for his method man. You see what I'm saying? He had all his eggs in one basket, meaning his vending machine attached to his apartment, all the guns, all 18 of the guns in his house or apartment, weed, uh, ammunition, you see what I'm saying? And it ain't done the right way. So he's smart for us. Like if he was legit, he'd be a millionaire. But since he under the table with it, and I don't understand because this man was so lucky. Four years, four years with no fumbles. Charlotte Lowe said, 10 summers, no fumbles. But you had four in Detroit? No robberies, 2,000 a day? You could have invested to so much shit, so much property, so much stock, so much truck, transportation, so many real vending machines, real dispensaries. Out there in the West Coast, all you got to do is partner up with the right person. Just pay under the table, pay more. Yeah. So say y'all do a 50-50 split or a 60-40 split, but you'll still pay him an extra 100 some thousand, 50,000 just for doing it. You know what I'm saying? Just for bringing you on. You see what I'm saying? Or you'll pay that for the connect. You see what I'm saying? For a real, like a legit plug on the whole stove, vending machines, your own weed. You already knew it was a matter of time, but you ain't care, right? Yeah, you ain't care. Like, yo, because you, you from Detroit, right? Detroit niggas don't give a f Yeah, you're going to get it how you going to get it, man. You going to get it how you live. They're going to come, they're going to come. Man. I got it all right here. I ain't running. Yeah, you're going to stand on 10 and all that duh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you're on the streets, you're going to eat. When you're in the pen, you're going to eat. That's how you living. That shit's stupid because you got the hustle skills. All you got to do is clean your back office. You could have uh, bought your own gun store, put in somebody's name, somebody you trust. You know what I'm saying? Somebody graduating every day that you can build a bond with. All you got to do is hang out at the college campus. You know what I'm saying? People with clean records. You know what I'm saying? Whatever city you live in. It's some good, strong colleges in Michigan. If you can't talk, if you can't network, or because, you know, you're in a different field, you're so street, your vocabulary so, you know, street and, you know, ghetto and project-ish, you can't, you know, switch it. You can't turn it on, turn it off. So you got to hire somebody. It could be a young black man that's 21, 25, 24, clean record. They can speak. They can network. Yeah, and you also, that'd be your guy. You'll be the one at the store in his name. You're going to give him a nice percentage, maybe 30%, 35 You see what I'm saying? He's going to run a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be there. you just the back office. You know what I'm saying? You may give him more than that, maybe 45 40%. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all really going to build that trust. You know what I'm saying? He's going to run everything. It's in his name. You know what I'm saying? He's just your store. You put up the cost, do what you got to do, clean your money, figure out a way that you can put down on a property like that, find out who names you can put it in. You had four years, so that's enough time to find somebody and build their business credit up, start them at LLC. He could have had a year or two. You had four years. He could have had a year or two on his LLC, and you build, you got him some trade lines, some primaries. You spent 60000 on some trade lines. You could have hit up Bandman Kevo or Mike the Credit Champ and got some good trade lines, spend 50000 40000 you know what I'm saying? Pay them 30000 20000 hang with them for a day. Hey, man, I need this, I need this, I'm trying to do this, do this. Making two bands a day, sure, it should be no problem to pay ten grand, twenty grand to get these connections. What, 2000 a day, that's uh, 730000 a year? 730 dips. Yeah, that's Freaky Ziki and Jim Jones and them boys. You know what I'm saying? 730. Yeah, so you're doing that per year for four years? And then when they come, all you got is 18 guns, some bullets, and a vending machine and some money. You may have got some stuff stashed stuff, but come on, man. It gotta be it gotta be some stuff tucked. It gotta be, man. I gotta give you more than that, man. Cause you have four years. Four years. I can see if this was the early two thousands and the nineties and the eighties and you'd be ahead of your time. So I can see you keep doing it for four years, five years, six years. But in this day and age, there's so many different ways to make that same type of money. You can make two thousand a day talking about you selling weed out your vending machine you know, making books or anything, speaking in front of people, you know, on YouTube, you know what I'm saying, speaking in front of people, that's live, that's in front of people, live, you know what I'm saying, you can have 2,000 people on your live talking about that right there, you know what I'm saying, they, they can't prove that you did it or not, you know what I'm saying, you got away with it for years, that's just one way you could do that, you could have did, you could have made 2,000 a day in real estate, you can make 2,000 a day in trucking, you can make 2,000 a day in rapping, you could have bought a rapper, you could have invested into a rapper, why you ain't buy a rapper? You making damn near a million dollars a year? These rappers giving niggas 200000 100000 300000 50000 for a deal. Why you didn't do that deal? Why you didn't lock in with a club promoter that's doing his thing? Or up and coming one that got his foot in the door. He didn't bring a couple rappers. He just can't get the big rappers because the bag ain't done. That's where you come in at. 
You know what I'm saying? So many different ways. So what it feel? Move to the next city. Of course it may fail in Detroit. It could, but it worked for some people. It may not work for you. Go to Atlanta. It may be overcrowded. Go to Miami. It may be overcrowded. Go to Illinois. You know what I'm saying? They may not want you up there. Go to the West Coast. They may accept you. You see what I'm saying? You got to come on, man. It's 2022, man. Even if you still wanted to have a business going, you weren't supposed to get caught with it. You're supposed to pass that down and move on. You wasn't supposed to get caught with it. You're supposed to pass that down. I'm done. I'm good. What you doing? I know you weren't buying city girls and living that lifestyle, living a rap lifestyle. I know you weren't doing that. I know, yeah, I know, I bet they better not have a half a million dollars for jury in there. You better not have been driving them cars like that. I know, you could have had your little fun with that and balanced it out. That's all you had to do. But you got too comfortable because you ain't had no fumbles. You know what I'm saying? Everything just, and you know a Karen gonna come along and soldier hate. Whether she buys something and uh, she don't like the product and she complain, her son gets something and she find out about it. Or she get the wrong thing and then that come out. You see what I'm saying? She against it from the get-go. From the jump, she against it. So she gonna call the police anyway. Come on, man. You sitting there in the house. You making damn near a million dollars. I'm pretty sure you doing something else. So you making over a million dollars a year. You still sitting there with all the shit. Knowing they got that address. Like, is you stupid or dumb? Stupid, dumb. Then you gonna let them know that you sell. That you been selling the weed for four years. So you might as well go ahead and plead guilty to that. And figure out how you're going to beat these gun cases. And you're doing other things like selling guns. That's what the police going to think. Because don't no convict the felon, you know, collect dirty guns like that. They may have two or three or five, but they're selling them. They're keeping them in rotation. Ain't nobody going to collect 10, 20 dirty guns. So, come on, man. They're going to think that you're selling them. So, yeah, you already know what it is on that. So, how you feel like you're going to get a T.I. deal? And you ain't got T.I. money. You could have pulled them in the music business that you're supposed to be running. Or any type of legit business that you was running. Set up an account, an ADP. Pay them. Set them on payroll. You can just dump any type of money. He ain't got to spend it. It's just to show that the money come from his account. So when he put down all that type of money for uh, this type of property. Ain't no red flag from the FBI. Ain't no red flag from the banks. He make 200000 from this. He make 300000 Like, there's so many different ways that you can finesse the system, but it take time. You got to have patience, and the luck that you had, you had time. Four years, that's enough time. Now, including if you got rappers and you got trucks and all that's legitly and it's covered up the right way, you can just buy it now. Since you legit, you can buy it under them business names, under them LSEs, not under your name. Come on, man. You supposed to easily took. You making over seven hundred thousand. You supposed to easily took three hundred thousand just for connections out of that stash. Yeah, yeah I'm just taking this money, three hundred thousand, just to meet people, just to uh, build friendships and connection. I pay a dude who got. I pay money back. Yo, how you get the truffles line? I give you hundred fifty thousand or fifty thousand or whatever, two hundred thousand, whatever, whatever it costs to get in the door, whatever they paying to get in that door. I know I'm gonna make the money back. Because the money I got coming in, my ideas, and then you start getting merch. You see what I'm saying? Like cookies. Like cookies. It may take you longer. You may have to spend more money. But the blueprint already laid out. Cookies told you. A million dollars worth of game. So you'll know, okay, I ain't going to do that. Okay, I don't want to be that big. Okay, I'm cool with that type of money. Or I'll do it like that. Like, I ain't trying to do that like that because I ain't trying to go that way. I'm really trying to do this. I just need this for this. But it could take over, so I keep that in mind. So much stuff, but you have so much time on your hand, and now you got all this over your head. You know the feds will want to take all your bread. 